Thank you guys for coming back to Cobra TV, and today we're going to have a VR episode. This was a clip from one of our subcasts where I had a VR enthusiast come on to kind of school us or school me on what kind of VR headsets are out there. Now, I need to state the views and opinions expressed herein by the caller are those of the caller only and do not reflect. Co no, I just I've always wanted to say that, but no, 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 it's it's good that you guys come on and and give us information. Uh, but again, I like I said in this interview, I knew nothing about VR, so I relied heavily on Stubborn Ninja uh, for his uh, just knowledge in the VR uh, industry. So hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you all in the next one. Until next time. All right, so Stubborn Ninja, man, you're here to tell us about uh, some VR headsets because there's a lot of confusion. I see a lot of questions everywhere, like, what should I get? Should I get one for my PS4 Should I, or should I spend my money and get one for my PC? Um, so you're here to tell us all about that. Give us some, some insight on what people should do. It's just crazy. I want to start off with the headsets that will not work with No Man's Sky so you guys can really be aware of what won't work um, natively. Now, if you want to go crazy and modify these headsets, which you can, and I, I don't want to get into it on this show, but you can modify some of these headsets to work with your PC. I'm going to cover So tonight, Cobra, I just want to uh, start this off by saying that none of these headsets, I won't bring up PSVR. And why is PSVR that? will work with No Man's Sky. I'm going to bring up entirely PC VRs because... Um, PSVR is the only headset on that will work with PS4. There's no other headset that will work with uh, PS4 other than PSVR. Okay. So if you're on, if you're exclusively on PlayStation 4, just get a PSVR. You can buy and use for about 200. I would say, I wouldn't fully recommend it, but you can buy them brand new. I think I saw the cheapest deal was about 300, and that comes with Move controllers if you want them. <laughs> So th that covers PlayStation. If you're on pl if you're on PlayStation and you're not looking into PC, don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything else I'm going to say. But if you're interested in any other headsets to go on, you know what I mean. If you're looking to invest in uh, PC, right? These are the headsets you're going to want to avoid. And then I'll get to the headsets that you'll want to get to. That you'll want to get. I'll, I'll start out cheapest and go most expensive. Okay. So the headsets to that will not work with No Man's Sky VR. First off, any mobile VR headset will not natively work. That means any anything that you slot your phone into, like a, a Daydream, a Google Cardboard, a Gear VR, anything like that will not work with No Man's Sky. That I, that should be pretty obvious, but you know what I mean. Just just to paraphrase. The next one that won't work is the Oculus Go. Oculus Go is a very, it's a $200 headset that Oculus provides. It's a standalone, it's basically a pre-mounted uh, phone inside of the uh, headset already. So it, it's a very high quality experiences, but it, it doesn't do PC VR. The next one is the Actually, funny enough, the Nintendo, I, I figured I'd bring it up here, the Nintendo Labo VR. This, this should be pretty obvious because it's not on Nintendo. Right. But you know what I mean? It, I don't want people to get confused, so I'll bring it up. Nintendo Labo VR doesn't work with No Man's Sky VR. The next one will be the Lenovo Mirage Solo. This is a very confusing one because this is kind of deals with what Google's doing with their mobile VR and everything like that. This is standalone VR, but at the same time, it's like they're phone mixed in with it it's confusing don't get it if you're looking to get in no man's sky vr okay well let's clear something up in the chat here i see a question okay. uh the question is from cuz walt saying okay. and, and we do have to state this i think uh is ninja st is stubborn ninja sponsored by any headset company are you sponsored by no. anybody okay no i am sponsored by virtual reality i am a vr shell i'm already going to cover that here now, I okay, first of all, you know, people are going to be like, ooh, he's a VR show. What, what is this organization? Now, that's you're just making fun <laughs> no. of yourself, right? Yes, I'm making, or making fun, fun of, of the situation. I am, I am non biased to any VR headset maker. Okay. I do have preferences, but as soon as the next best thing comes out, I don't care about that last thing. So, that, that that's, that's as far as I'm going to say is that. Okay. So, that uh, stay away from those headsets that I've just named. The next headset to stay away from, and this should be the last one. 
No, there's two more. Okay, so th this one and then the next one you need to stay away from, the Oculus Quest. This headset was not out yet, but it will come out. It's $400. It does. It looks almost exactly like an Oculus Rift. It it does stand alone, and it, it looks like a great headset, but it doesn't work with No Man's Sky Sedley. I wish it does did because this looks like the perfect headset at the moment, mm. but it doesn't sadly. The next, the last headset to avoid is the Vi the HTC Vive Focus Plus. This is not going to release for a while. This is an eight hundred dollar headset, and this does not, as far as I understand, work with PC VR. Those are all the headsets to avoid. So everything there, you can stay away from if you're looking to get into No Man's Sky VR. Okay, now I've got to take your word for all of this because. I do not know anything of what you're talking about. Like, I can't confirm yeah. anything. So, <laughs> like... That I, doesn't... Okay, these are the headsets that you will want to look at. The, that that doesn't matter as much. You just need to remember these headsets. These are the ones that you'll want to... Well, it's good to know what not to buy. Uh, when, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... And anything else that I don't name here, that it won't work with PC VR. So, so don't worry about anything. If you see anything else that it's not on the list that does work with uh, No Man's Sky VR, then you don't have to worry about it. So, uh, this is the coming in at the cheapest. This is called the Windows Mixed Reality headset. It's a really confusing thing, but they go in for about two hundred and fifty dollars. These are the, this is the cheapest way into PC VR, as far as I am aware, that is brand new. If you want a brand new headset, then you can go for $250 and get what is, I, I, there's several off-brand ones. I could, uh, if you want to know which one to get, uh, just direct message me on Twitter, uh, Stubborn Ninja, or my name on there is like TJ Boyd. So if you want to, if you want to ask me which headset from Windows Mixed Reality, it's they're all about two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. The the next headset, and this isn't actually being produced anymore. This is the kind of outdated and the kind of not. The Oculus Rift. They just released, or no, they just announced the Rift S. So right now they're uh, they're selling the last of their stock of the original Rift. The the original Rift is great. I could get into what's different, but there's not really a huge difference. So you'll be happy with either going with the Rift or the Rift S. The Rift S will be easier to set up. So I'll just include the Rift S here. But they're, they're both about the same other than the setup. It's really just about the same. And okay. that'll be the, the Rift will probably go right now. It's brand new for 350 if you can grab one. So and they're probably going to go used for about 250 as well. The Rift S is 400 so that you know that that's a little bit more so the next one is the samsung odyssey plus now this is this is going to where it's going to really start getting confusing but the odyssey plus is also a windows mixed reality headset this is a very high-end windows mixed reality headset but this is what i would consider mid-range it has one of the highest resolutions so if you have a I would recommend this, this not this one, but I would say I'd, I'd do one more step up for you, Cobra, but if you have a high-end PC and you're looking in the $500 price range, this is the headset I'd recommend for you. Uh, and then the last one in this uh, 300, 3 to 500 price range is the HTC Vive. Mm -hmm. I would not go for this right now, uh, and I'll get into later to why. This is $500. It does room scale very well. If you want to do room scale, then go with this one but i'll explain why you shouldn't as well in the future uh, and it has to deal with new headsets being released here in may ish so i'm going to move on to the high end or enthusiast level so if you're if you're not looking to spend too much money then uh you can skip over this part this is going to be the enthusiast level headsets this is the htc vive pro the pro is a very expensive headset it comes in at about eleven hundred dollars for everything that you need, the tracker, the tracker hands, you know what I mean, all that. Right. It's a, it's a super high end. It has the same resolution as the Samsung Odyssey Plus. The one I mentioned at five hundred dollars, it just does room scale, whereas the uh, Odyssey Plus has a lot harder time doing room scale. That's going to set you back a lot, about eleven hundred dollars. Jeez, I didn't know there were yeah. so many different headsets. I know that that's the thing. I, I would stay. I'll recommend, I'll tell you which headset to, I'll recommend which headset you get and for everyone to get. 
The next one is this one is going to be out of basically just about anyone's price range, but this gives you the most immersion. It is called the Pimax. Pimax makes a 200. So most headsets, let me explain why Pimax is special. Most headsets are a 110 degree field of view. So if you, if you know the human eye is a 210 degree field of view, it has a, a you know, what I mean, it has a 210 degree field of view. The Pimax is the only headset currently in this price range to do 200 degree field of view. It goes, the headset itself, you can only buy the headset itself for a $700 or $900. There's two different variants. There's the 5K plus or there's the 8K. But I would say, I would say just go for the $200 cheaper. This is, this isn't even worth mentioning to be honest with you because no one's going to buy this. <laughs> I don't see anyone at all buying this. Okay. Uh, but if if you're really feeling brave and you want to go all out with um, VR, you know what I mean. You're going beyond just No Man's Sky. You're going crazy with VR. Then yeah, I would recommend this. Okay. Uh, there's two more headsets. These haven't released yet. These are the only two that haven't released yet. It's the HTC Vive Cosmos. This is kind of like uh, the v HTC Vive S. It does a few things differently. It does inside out tracking. It has a completely different controllers to the, uh, so if you don't like the Vive ones that I would say, and you want to get an HTC headset, get this. This is like, uh, the Oculus controllers. If you're familiar, the touch controllers, if you're familiar with them. And the last one that just got announced, uh, yesterday, and they said it'll be released in May is the valve index. Now, if, uh, valve is finally releasing their headset. It's been rumored for a long time that they were going to release a headset. If you're familiar with what valve is doing in VR, they're going to be releasing a half-life VR, a portal VR, and I think a T team fortress VR. And we're thinking they're all going to be bundled with that in May. But the very special thing about that, uh, the valve VR or the valve index is the controllers. Um, these are very next generation kind of controllers. They let you just let go of your, they're called the knuckles. You'll have to show up a picture for everyone to understand why these controllers are so special. They, they give you a much bigger immersion level than any other controller does. They let you completely let go of the controller and just let it float. It straps around your hand. And that, that's why I'd say wait for the, uh, valve. This is probably going to be a $500 or $600 headset. So if you're looking to go with that, you know what I mean? If you're if you're looking to do room scale and want the most immersion, this is probably the headset for you for the price range. Okay. Oh, there is, there is one last headset, and this is the headset I'd recommend to you. It's called the HP Reverb. It is currently the highest resolution headset at 2160 by 2160 per eye at 90 hertz in each eye. So Cobra, I would recommend this headset to you. It's $600. And I think this is the perfect uh, headset for your what you wanna do since you don't aren't very interested in the, uh, you're not very interested in controllers, right? Cause the controllers aren't the best on this. Right, right. This is this is this is currently the highest uh, resolution in that price range. But I think I, I should I, I should spend the money to get something with good controllers because it does look like games are heading in that direction. So it'd be oh, yeah. so, pointless so it's, for it's, me to shell out a bunch of money and leave that point off. You know, leave that off the table. Yeah, when it's, it's going to become very important soon. Yeah. I do. So for anyone that's looking to get a uh, PC VR headset, personally, I would recommend I, the Rift S or the valve headset the valve index because those are the two those are the kind of the two i wouldn't recommend waiting for the vive cosmos it doesn't look like it does anything that the rift s doesn't it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive it might have better resolution but it's not going to do anything else very uh, better you know what i mean right so i would recommend anyone that really wants it. so this the cheapest option i would recommend is the Rift S. If you're looking to really go really cheap skate, go to Windows Mixed Reality. The next headset I would recommend is the uh, Wait for the Valve Index. That's going to be in the five to six hundred dollar range. And and just stay. And that maybe that if you're really feeling like you just want, you don't want the 
move controllers. You know what I mean? You don't want the motion controllers. Just go with the HP Reverb because that is currently the highest resolution uh, headset for $600 you get the highest resolution headset and you'll be happy because it's very comfortable. Right. So that, that's, that's my recommendations. It's a very confusing, <laughs> I'm sorry if I came across as confusing guys, but oh, that's no, it's, it's, if way it's of, confusing. It's not your fault. I, I, I didn't uh, know there were so many different choices out there. Um, but for the people who have uh, a, a PSV, a PS4, uh, it's so easy. <laughs> Just one headset. Right, right, and and you could get the entire bundle for like three hundred and something dollars, and you're it's out of the and box, ready to go. You know, it's it's simple. Also, guys, please pick up your VR headsets now. I don't want you guys opening up VR uh, No Man's Sky VR for on well, day one of Beyond. Hold on, and getting not having your VR legs. Well, I here to I, I, wanna, that, I do want to state this real fast. Uh, I, I did want to kind of warn people about going out and getting VR too soon. I think we should wait just a little bit. Because Hello Games said that they were going to re-release it for PS4. Now, I don't know if they're going to be re-releasing some kind of PS uh, No Man's Sky VR, PSVR bundle, right? So, I, I think you know, if you're going to get VR for PS4, at least wait. I would I would disagree with that, personally, because I don't think... it. Firstly, it's not going to be much cheaper, if any cheaper. But why and re-release it? Uh, that, because they want to sell, they want people to see that, right? They want people to see that No Man's Sky is officially in VR. So I would say pick up a PSVR now. If you don't already have No Man's Sky, then I guess wait. You know what I mean? If you do have No Man's Sky, go ahead and pick up a PSVR or your PC VR and start playing VR games because you need your VR legs before you go into No Man's Sky. That is true. People bought, brought up a great point. You can't hop into No Man's Sky VR on day one and go start, uh, what is that technique? The sprint melee jetpack. You're going to get sick if you don't already have your VR legs. You, you're you're going to want a headset now. If you're thinking about No Man's Sky, if you're thinking about getting No Man's Sky VR, get a headset now and start playing games. Uh, a game that I would recommend that's free, it's a very uh, multiplayer oriented game, is... Uh, rec room. It's it's a cartoony. I, I best way I can describe it to you guys is it's a cartoony version of VR chat. But it, I mean it, the possibilities are crazy. The, the gameplay can get as fast or faster than No Man's Sky at times. You know what I mean? It's a free game. Uh, actually, I described it to Snow when he started playing it and agreed with me. It's kind of like the Dreams uh, before Dreams releases. You know what I mean? You can create all these things and everything. But oh, that sounds gotta, really gotta, cool. Yeah, I forgot to recommend it to you, man. You got to hop in there. We got. Uh, yeah. We gotta, um. Anyway, yeah, just go ahead and get your VR now and start playing with some games. You're, you're not going to regret it, dude. I wonder how many people uh, are going to uh, when No Man's Sky Beyond releases, put their VR headsets on and do a nonstop 30 minute barrel roll in space to get <laughs> sick so they could call off of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, idea. You know what I mean? There'll be a yeah, bunch yeah. of explorers going <laughs> Units received. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, just go ahead and grab VR now. You will not regret it, dude. He's right, but at the other hand, I think that they got something up their sleeve with re releasing it for BSVR. And a lot of people might want to spend some money on that. But you do have a point. You do need your VR legs. Uh, you do need to get used to it because it uh, does get take take some getting used to. It. And I do want to stress to everybody out there who's not yet wanting VR, um, it's not like you're putting a TV screen on your face and you can look around. It's different than that. Imagine you're looking at a painting on the wall. Now imagine you can look into that painting. Like you could reach into the painting beyond the bush that's in the uh, front and go all the way back into the hill and pluck a flower from the ground. That's what VR is like. So you can see straight into the game in, in a 3D style. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it. Uh, okay, so I, I really okay. hope that helped some people that were on the fence Let about me, what they wanted to get. 